What's good world and you know what time it is, it's tea time on Floss TV Africa where we bring to you the juiciest entertainment spills and analyze them for you. My name is Ife Oshinke and I've got with me the girl on fire, Ife <laughs> Omai. What's up? I'm good, how are you? Great, how are you doing today? I'm well, it's Friday. You look amazing. Thank you. you I too. hope you don't feel blue though. <laughs> oh my goodness, Ife. I hope you don't feel blue. No, you I feel, feel great. Good. It's Friday. It's Friday. What's the turn up? You know how I feel up? about Friday. I'm going home, fam. The only girl I'm I know that stays, <laughs> that got an Leave apartment for just alone. a week. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> but when events open again, probably you stay the weekend. Yeah, Because this is where it I happens. stayed last week. You don't know, give me credit oh, yeah? for that. Yeah, it was my first week and I'm I not doing it again. You didn't holler at me, no. No, I'm, nah, I'm good. I want <laughs> to go home. Free food is nice. Free food is nice. Mm -hmm. All right, so talking about that, let's move to the main gist for the day, which is on Naira Mali, who has pleaded guilty in court and fined on Drake K. Remember last month we spoke about the singer and his manager on June 8 this year traveled from Lagos to Abuja and back to Lagos for a drive through concert in Abuja. He was arraigned before the court by the state police command today. Um, yesterday, I mean, August 6, well, the Lagos State Special Offense Mobile Court, Oshodi, has fined singer Afiz Fashola and his manager 100,000 naira for flouting the ban on interstate travels in June this year. A statement from the spokesperson of the police command, Bala Elkana, said Naira Mali was arraigned alongside his manager, Sheyi Awuga, on a one count charge of breach of the cessation of movement and interstate travel order made by the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Finally, the law is working. Or what do you think? I feel like there's a there's just a beef with Naira Mali. I don't know. Well, I mean, it works hand in hand. I feel like he does make a lot of errors, but I've all of a sudden the law just really works on him. I'm pretty sure he's not the only person who's flouted the who's law. flouted the law. Yeah. So there is some type of bias, and it's unfortunate that he's known for attracting the wrong type of legal issues mm -hmm. to his case, and maybe he's just someone that is easily persecuted i don't know because i know he has power and he has influence and he has money so i don't but know what it is what, when all those other people do these things they keep it on mm. the wraps but naramali tends to be out there like the moment he does anything that is breaking the law is out there in the news so i don't think i think that's his fault it's not mm. discreet and it's not just him it's also his camp his managers the people mm. around him that make those videos and put it out there mm. because if you know you're not supposed to travel and then you're making videos of you performing with a large mm. crowd obviously mm. it's like you're saying f the law yeah you get and obviously the law has to work in that and, regard and to be honest that i feel like he's sticking true to his brand like i mm. feel like that's the intention which is the only thing i don't like about the malian movement mm. i like the vibes i like the you know, it's the straightness or whatever. But this lawlessness with so much pride, for me, it's a bit juvenile, honestly. Um, and I know that it's influencing people. It's trickling down to the society. I remember watching the, reading some of the comments online about this story. And it was both, it was very divided. One side was like, yes, now that's, you know, um, kind of like promoting this, this like screw the government screw laws i'm above the law type of people mm -hmm. and then on the other side is people actually complaining about that saying that the influence the platform that you're using the way you're using your platform rather is not necessarily the best and it's causing a lot of trouble i don't see how this will end well if he doesn't like kind of reduce the level in which he is coming in contact with um the law so negatively mm -hmm. i don't think it's really cool honestly but to be fair, you know, every movement has um, a goal and um, they have their mission and vision. But there are some other people that would still do the opposite of it. So I don't think it's setting a good example. But when he puts out his tweets, you know, he keeps um, surprising us anytime he puts out a tweet and then people found out he was educated and all of that. But it's like he's not practicing what he's he, preaching yeah. in his tweets but obviously he's doing what he's saying in his music so mm. <laughs> i think it's somebody who has split personality mm. is one person on twitter is another person with his music and his lifestyle i feel like so. your actions will speak louder than your words though so for me it's mm. going to be hard for naramali to convince me otherwise that he actually has any intentions of being responsible because it's very easy to avoid a lot of the things well, that he um, gets into 
It's not necessary. Helping COVID-19, you know, trying to open up free restaurants where people can just walk in and eat. Okay, you know, sure, we have to I give him credit so. for some I good things so, yeah. he has done. You know, when he did the Wooga dance, he gave out like 100k, which is like, um, I think in total, he gave about two to three million naira to people. Mm. And that was quite commendable. Yeah, so. but with the law, can we not just get that together? Is it, oh, wasn't even, he already yeah. just... Wait, what even happened to the 419... Yeah, it's we, not over, it's still in You think court. that kind of person would lay low and know when they're breaking rules? He's not 12. I'm sure he knew while he was boarding the plane. It just doesn't sit right with me. It doesn't sit right with anyone. I hope Naramali is watching and um, do better. Practice what you preach on Twitter, on your music. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, moving on to the next story. Grammy Award-winning music producer, Detail, was, um, as, was arrested on Wednesday, 5th August, on more than a dozen charges of sexual assault. Authorities said the 41-year-old producer was held on nearly $6.3 million bill. According to a statement from the Los Angeles County Sheriff Department, detail was charged on July 31st with 15 counts of sexual assault and 5 counts of felony assault. The statement said he is accused of crimes between 2010 and 2018. Mm. Detail won a Grammy in 2015 for writing the Beyonce and Jay-Z hit song Drunk in Love and has also produced it for megastars like Lil Wayne, Nicki Minaj and Wiz Khalifa. Mm. It doesn't matter how many Grammy Awards you've been nominated for, who you've worked with, if you have a bad character. Mm. If you do the crime, I think you should do the time. And more than a dozen is so... That's loud. That's very, very loud. And very um, loud. Okay, so for me, I think what I took out from this story is that I feel like there's a lot of people who are currently in in um, practice of, of things that are vile, right? Mm -hmm. And they feel like they're getting away with it because they're getting away with it for a long time. Mm -hmm. So from 2010 to 2018, I'm pretty sure I started to feel really I'm invisible. Yes, like, I'm going to do this and do it again and nothing's going to happen. And I think there's a lot of people on that table, even that are watching mm -hmm. right now. And I'm hoping that their time comes soon. So f I think the new world that we're being burst into globally is becoming more woke more aware mm -hmm. and more aware of our stance and as a people maybe there's alternative ideas but i think as a people majority of the time what we've been saying is in different ways that enough is enough with rape and enough is enough with sexual assault and everything around that so i'm hoping that more of more of these people start to come out um, in in, the, in a good way so so we can see them and, and get justice for their victims because for me like I know sometimes I, I think another another rape case again, mm -hmm. another assault, another person, poor ladies. But I'm glad that that, that keeps coming out because then it means that justice is being served. It means that we're moving closer to a society where we have one less um, molester to worry about, one less sicko to worry about. So and then what I like about this, bring it down, these people in power, is that the narrative of when you're black and you're rich, mm. then you're a target. Sometimes it's not because you're a target, it's because mm. you may leave the hood, but sh the hood no, may never leave, leave yeah. you. So, yeah. yes, you may be rich, you may be famous, you may be doing something legit, but do you still have that hood mentality? Mm. Did you leave it behind when you left the hood and you became rich and famous mm. and you had privileges and... But a lot of them are still doing exactly what a hood yeah. rat would still do. So yeah. what's the difference between you and somebody? So the fact that you're rich, you're famous, you have all that power, it doesn't give you the right to abuse it. Instead, it should give you a, a gratitude feeling like I'm grateful for mm. how far I've come and try to help other people and be a good example for people. Because yeah. if the rich and famous are the ones breaking the law, what about the ones that are just there and they're struggling yeah. for how to feed on a daily basis? Yeah, Obviously, they will do whatever it takes yeah, to. I feel like black Americans also are, are very good at that, including Africans as well. I'm just saying Nigerian. Cause that's playing like victims. Some, yes, playing victims. So because you've had a hard life or whatever, it still does not matter what mm. your excuses, what you've seen, what your parents did and didn't do. If you have done a crime, be ready to do the time. Because there is a lot of people that also have been hurt and have found a way to use the hurt to better themselves rather than hurt other people as an excuse. I think it's a very cowardish way of thinking. I'm not saying it's easy. Being good has never been easy, but it's the right thing to do. So do it. And if it's not impossible because other people are doing it as well. Mm. So I don't care if you're black, white, or indigo, and you have a lot of money in your account, mm -hmm. and you have a touching story of how you got to the ladder on top, mm, and you've won Grammy Awards, well done, and all good and great. But if you have assaulted women, or whatever crime it is that you've done to other people that is undespicable, and mm. it shouldn't be, then yeah, go to prison. 
And this takes me back to um, the story of yesterday about takeoff also being mm. charged for rape. So I think it's more, um, it's becoming more rampant in the music industry yeah. now where people with power and um, fame and all that feel like, okay, because I'm this person, mm. I can have anybody I want. Consent is still yes. If you don't get a yes, it's rape. Yeah. Bye. So um, we will be going on a break and tea time. We'll be right back with more stories. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I see them every day. <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Ali Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to die, everybody feeling all right. Still make music and people are still buying. Sometimes they look myself minimal. Are you? Mm. music is for mature-minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi. Like, woo! <laughs> Welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. And yes, you know how we analyze the big stories. Speaking of the big stories, Maria Carey's estranged sister is suing their mother, claiming that she was forced to endure sexual abuse from multiple men by way of satanic worship meetings when she was a child. Alison Carey accused the mom, Patricia Carey, of sexual abuse when she was 10 years old. In a summons in a summons filed with the New York Supreme Court in February that was obtained by Fox News. She also claimed that it all took place at the, in the middle of the night, satanic worship meetings that included ritual sacrifices. Mm. This sounds like a movie script. I know. Like, some living in bondage. Do you get it? <laughs> like, and I don't know why she's not saying anything about it, um, Mara Carey, that is, because did they grow up apart? And is Mara mm. Carey not aware that her sister was pretty much in a cult and was abused. Like oh, the this mother, is, you mean? No, the sister, isn't it? The, the mother uh, made the, the sister do all, all those stuff, mm -hmm. right? I'm saying, is my carry not aware of everything that, exactly, yeah. Uh, or do you think, because I know for, for someone like Mariah Carey, this type of news is almost embarrassing, sort of, if that makes sense. Like, I don't think, because I know the, the, the type of celebrity that she has giving us an impression mm. of it's one that wants to look perfect and doesn't want, obviously want to have a stain. I remember even the wedding ring that she got and people were going about those most expensive engagement mm. ring we had seen in our time or whatever. She still complained that it wasn't perfect enough. Like she's that kind of person. Even that's why she left Nick Cannon as well. And there's been many stories to allude to the fact that she likes almost looking perfect to a to an extreme, if mm -hmm. that makes sense. So I, I was I was kind of searching to see if she would have said anything on she this particular. She anything. really still hasn't um, said because, anything. Because um, rumor has it that um, the sister um, is suffering from PTSD mm. and a lot of other mental illness. That she's not um, stable, and mm. those are the things that they are saying about her. And um, she was also she has a um, crime history because mm. she was arrested for prostitution as mm. well. And um, so they're saying all these things put together. Is Makes she sense. really a reliable yeah. person to actually oh, okay. speak okay. about oh, okay. things that's like that? that are yeah. So that's the angle they I, are coming. From. I would say that all those re all those things is probably a good enough reason for me to believe her as to why that why she, her life could look like that if she experienced such a thing at a young mm. age. A lot of the times, not. It's not. It, it, it takes a certain type of experience and exposure to live a, a certain life as a woman. When you start to see things like women giving their bodies out that often, mm. it's either they've had a, a, a their their first impression towards sex was not done in the most, let's say, innocent way. Like if you were shel mm. sheltered and stuff, and you had good sex and you, you were introduced with love and stuff, it's very weird to then see an extreme where you then choose a life of like you know, sex work or whatever. It's kind I'm not, I don't know if it, if it has never happened, but it's kind of rare to mm -hmm. see that. Usually they always have an, a, a story of abuse or like a need or something. And I know that it's, it's not a need problem because she has Mariah Carey as a sister. Oh, well, 
um, speaking of that, she tendered an apology some time back, saying that Mariah Carey should help her financially and that they should um, put all the rift behind them and um, sort things out and that she needs help, she needs financial help and all not, that. So um, they're estranged, so I don't mm. think they're the best of friends. Mm. So um, she's not somebody who is getting the privileges of being, being a superstar sister. sister. Do you mm. understand? So she's not actually getting the money, she's not getting the fame, she's not even being regarded most of the time most times when they it's always with that label and strange mm. sister so mm. it's not like somebody who has a cordial mm. relationship with the family so i get where all this may affect her but i'm also worried that what if this is just about the money mm. as well considering the fact that you have money problems but then when she just to mary instead my mary's mom doesn't seem to have um, well that that's much like money. the easy targets and mary will pay you get, but Marakara would probably so. get the best of lawyers and people would probably not believe mm. her and troll her and all of that. Yeah. So I'm not saying what she's saying is not true or it's unfounded and all that, but until we get a response from Patricia, who is their mother herself, and then she says, oh, this, this and this or that, or the court of law proves For some reason, I don't guilty. know why. I don't know if this is the politically right thing to do, but when somebody comes out to cry for help, I usually just try to like empathize, empathize with, with that as well. I think, I think there is quite a lot of information out there with documentaries and movies and biographies of people who have been through um, church cults. I don't know if it's, okay, well, you can call it satanic church, um, religious cults, rather, and the horrible, horrible things that these people are exposed to. Um, and I, 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 can't, I can't begin to minimize hmm. the effect that I could have. The last time I was saying something about um, Illuminati, Freemason, um, and all of that. What if this is just a little snippet into that world? Okay, so and let, let me clarify on that. I am not saying that those things don't exist, that they aren't actually called on massive levels mm -hmm. with under, get under mm -hmm. Gs, whatever. But when it comes to the music industry, and saying that Beyonce is a cult, is a Freemason, and this person, this person, a lot of the times, those are all based off of conspiracy theories. Sure, yeah. So I, I won't be very quick to um, come yeah. out and, and, say and say that, yeah. All right, so um, let's move on to the next story. Um, I hope um, Mara Carey's sister gets justice if she's actually saying the truth. Yeah. And, um, or whatever, we would just like to know what the truth is. So on the next story... Um, it's better to marry a truthful single mom than a pretentious single lady that has done many abortions. Actress Okwayemi Ayola wrote on IG. And, mm, what is that? What is that? What is that, fam? <laughs> Are you trying to sell like, your market? I, I, I don't yourself. understand. <laughs> She's doing the pick me. We call them pick me, pick me. Like mm. when people say things that would really stir up men's feelings of, I don't know, like, like me, I'm cool type of vibe. Mm. Like, and at the same time, for you to be able to do that, you have to bring other people down. Um, it's not nice. Body shaming or even like, I don't want to say body shaming, but whatever you've done with your body and then somebody else comes to shame you based mm -hmm. on those decisions does not sit well with me. Yeah. She looks like she's seeking attention and that her intentions were very, um, very, very vile, to be honest, because mm -hmm. I, think, I think abortions are, for anybody, it's something that doesn't, come easy and mm -hmm. I, i'm not here to sit down and defend people's reasons as to why they get an abortion but a lot of the times if you use empathy to listen like i always scream on this table you realize that it was also a tough call for them mm -hmm. even when they are being stupid quote unquote about the boyfriend that asked them to to do whatever at the end of the day being on that table a lot of the times it's hard for them so for you to sit there as a woman and then now use those experiences whether or not they were made out of desperation or their the intention was good or bad or whatever and they use that as a as a means to do pick me and i look i'm better or whatever so and basically basically we know that you do not have abortion so we should clap for you i think everything has its baggages even the two three um, the woman with two, three kids, right, that hasn't done a single abortion. What makes you think that as a man, I'm ready to exactly. carry that baggage of having... What if I'm not ready for kids? Like, I want to get married, but I'm not ready to have kids probably to like three years after mm. the marriage and all that. But you want to bring the baggage of the kids. Sorry, kids are blessings, but I, know mean, yeah. I just mean like I'm not ready, ready to take yeah. up that responsibility. So fine. everything has its baggages. And then talking about abortions, I'm not going to question any woman's decision on why she had to um, do an abortion. It could be for a better life. It could mm. be because of circumstances. It could be poverty. So you don't know the circumstances surrounding why anyone had an abortion. So 
putting this out there is just very it, it, it does not even make asking. sense because what 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 is your rationale there that the that ab aborting is def definitely makes you a, ba a bad person and then keeping your children makes you a good person like are you 12 like <laughs> there's more to people than just that you know like you can have a mother that is extremely terrible and is horrible to those three children and when you marry that person that's the end of your life and you never find happiness again and then you can have someone who maybe got into prostitution by force when she was younger and that was her means to survive because obviously she can't be a mother at that time mm. and has grown up and has fixed herself so at the end of the day you can tell that this lady this actress they did not have any good intentions towards women mm -hmm. when she was writing that and was quite, kind of actually um, being really what's the word deceitful almost because you are um luring people to think otherwise and i know she knows she has an influence over people who can't, yeah who can't really think that deeply for themselves unfortunately okay. i will buy into that so sometimes people just want to talk on instagram just put emojis on your caption and leave it and then another thing is um you're trying to say every woman who's had an abortion is pretentious is a bad person yeah. that doesn't make sense because there are different reasons for abortion so yeah. i think people just need to be woke stay woke enlighten yourself yeah. read books watch documentaries mm. you know just do anything to just by um, yeah. widen your horizon and maybe you uh, yeah. would understand I mean, if why you, people make certain decisions. Exactly. So like if you, that, that for me would have been a better caption. If saying that whoever you do decide to be with, find out the reasons why they do anything. Even if it's mm -hmm. good, I, I could have a good life but my intentions behind making those choices might have not been good. Mm -hmm. So if you find somebody in date who's had a lot of abortions and it's quite callous and doesn't really want to like get their lives together or settle and that's what you're looking for, then bounce obviously. But there's better ways to say that than, than, than that. All right. Um, and sadly, there's no tea in this cup no more. So <laughs> is there still tea in your cup? Yeah, but well, we can wrap up. <laughs> All right. So this is how we call it a wrap. Thank you for watching Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Join the conversation on social media with the hashtag Tea Time or tweet at us at Plus TV Africa. Remember, you can catch up on this episode and all our exclusive contents by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on Outer TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always will go to Michael Anko, the girl on fire if I oh my and the entire production team thank you for watching plus tv africa's tea time and it's the that's me guy if i lua or she care do stay true to thyself and have a great weekend remember to watch the tea time roundup this saturday 2 30 p.m and on sunday 10 30 a.m in case you missed all the great moments of the week adios <laughs>